Hi students, a very good day to all of you. Uh, Teacher Gavin here, yeah. And uh, in this video, I just want to uh, show you, huh, briefly, uh, a little bit of uh, what I have been doing recently. Okay, so I got into a little bit of gardening. Okay, uh, just a few pots uh, uh, of a simple plants that I am planting. But uh, there are some things that are related to uh, our lessons uh, that we have discussed in class. I thought that I could show it to you. Okay, so. Uh, I will I will be able to show this video to all the form one, form two, form three student. Okay, so uh, if if there's anything you don't understand, okay, uh, you can ask me in class, lah, huh? All right, uh, but but the knowledge I'm gonna share is gonna cover uh, uh, from all three levels, huh? Because you are learning uh, about the plants here and there, isn't it? So the first thing uh, that we want to discuss, uh, of course, is uh, regarding um, the plant itself, lah. Uh, okay, so the 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 types of the the different types of plants that we have here yeah so this is what i uh, this is this is the this is uh, actually all three pots uh, are planted at the same time you know uh, just that this one you can see uh, is really outperforming the rest yeah uh, this is actually french bean all right you know the kind of long bean but the light green color one yeah french bean uh, this is what we call as a wing beans uh wing beans okay uh, and then uh, at the back uh, this is what we have a chili a chili plant uh, slow and steady uh, and then here of course just a leafy plant uh, uh. all right so let's talk about this plant okay now uh okay so this one is actually from two lesson all right we can take a look at the uh, properties of this plant all right because we learned in chapter two about the uh, monocot uh, or dicot uh, plants yeah the monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous plants okay so you can take a look at the properties of the plants always we will look at it through uh, the stem the leaf the root and the seed uh, and even better if we can look at the flower but of course at the moment uh, let's look at what we have here okay so if you take a look at the leaves you can see quite clearly all right that these are what we call as network like veins all right the front maybe not so clear but if we take a look at the underside of the leaf wow you can see it's very clear yeah a network like veins so all these veins are uh, their job is to actually uh, deliver uh, all the essential uh, materials uh, to the uh, to the plant okay and including things like water okay and uh, and uh, nutrients as well okay and uh, even out of the leaf as well okay because we know that at the leaf there uh, transpiration is happening photosynthesis is happening and uh, for example photosynthesis uh, after they produce the, the food they need to actually deliver the food um, down the entire plant so this is where the veins uh, they are being involved so if you remember from two students i got discussed with you all right uh, between the non-flowering plants and flowering plants there is this thing called a vascular system or a vascular bundle where we discuss about the xylem and the phloem all right so all these things they will be located lah, around the tree okay uh, unfortunately i cannot show you uh, uh, microscopic uh, otherwise you should be able to see there is this um, we call it uh, stomata or on the other side okay so leaves are done then we take a look at the uh, 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 what do we call this the uh, uh, the roots lah, huh? okay so the roots uh, you can see uh, we know that our dicotyledon should be uh, should be a tap root should be a tap root okay so you can see uh, uh, not very obvious of course I cannot dig up for you uh, to see uh, but you should be able to see that okay you should be able to see that um, they have a very thick tap in the middle a very thick tap in the middle ah so underneath the plant it will be a very thick tap uh, and that will be the tap root that supports the plant okay uh, and then stem uh, stem of course woody stem uh, coming soon uh, coming soon okay uh, you can see it's still all is still growing uh, still growing very fresh leaves now uh, one more thing that we can discuss uh, uh, of course is regarding this part uh, this is what we call as the cotyledon student okay so whenever we talk about cotyledon uh, this is what we are talking about so before this is actually very green in color something like this you can see it is very fresh and very green in color uh, we learn in form one even that this cotyledon their job is to supply uh, food uh, for the seeds during germination okay because during its germination stage uh, that means uh, when it just started growing uh, a little bit like this uh, the chili uh, they are not able to do their own photosynthesis yet so they need somewhere to give them the uh, the nutrients uh, and it actually comes from this cotyledon so inside they will provide all the nutrients uh, for the seeds to grow before they can do their own photosynthesis before they have 
uh, their own leaves lah. Okay, so you take a look at this one uh, You can see that um, uh, This one uh, Because the leaves are still small yeah, The cotyledon is still considered quite fresh lah. But then what happened is When the leaves grow to a reasonable size uh, When it's big enough like this one uh, You can see The cotyledon will start to dry yeah, it will start to dry and it will start to wrinkle up. Uh, this means what, student? This means that the cotyledon uh, already finished using. We have already finished using the cotyledon here. Yeah, and there is no more food, no more starch. And it will, after a few days, uh, I expect another one or two days, this thing, it will fall off lah, because the leaves can do their own photosynthesis already. Alright, so before that, huh, there is this testa, the seed coat. Huh, you can see over here. Uh, this is the testa or the seed coat which actually was covering the seed covering the cotyledon and then it fell off in the first one or two days it already fell off remember we say germination requires water water softens this testa and then it allowed the cotyledon to burst open oh, uh, and now this thing already fall off so it's just going to be in the soil uh. Uh, okay, you see the roots are very healthy here. Okay, now we take a look at the other plant. Uh, this is our wing beans. Okay, so you can see, uh, not as fast as the French bean, but still very healthy. And uh, if you take a look at the properties of the of the plant, you can see that the leaves, uh, these are also network-like veins. Okay, underside of the leaf also is very clear with the network-like veins. So this one also is a dichotomous, uh, di uh, sorry, a, a dicotyledon, uh, dicotyledon plant. Okay, and uh, in terms of the, the, the roots, of course, uh, not able to see. Uh, it's quite underneath, but it is actually a tap root, uh, tap root in this plant. Okay, so dicotyledon plant. Mm. And then if you come over here, student, this is our chili plant. Okay, you can see. Uh, actually, this is just today. Uh, it grow uh, quite reasonable uh, uh, height. Uh, previously, was actually quite small. So you can see all these are the chili seeds. You know, it's just like the chili that we are eating. All right, inside the seeds. Uh, and then we just plant, and then it will be able to grow. So this one you cannot see very clearly. I also not sure what kind of leaf is this. Uh, probably also a dicotyledon plant. Uh. Okay, this one. Uh. So the tap. All of it is forming. Now, this one student actually is a leafy plant. Okay, I got this earlier, much earlier. And uh, you can see that uh, this is going to be the opposite of what we have discussed earlier. Because what we discussed, they were dicotyledon. This one you can see student, is what we call as a monocotyledon. Monocotyledon. Why? You take a look at the leaf. Huh? This kind of leaf, we call it as a parallel vein. You see it you know? A parallel vein. It's a straight, straight lines. Ah, uh, if you look at the underside of the leaf, also is very clear. Yeah, yeah. Parallel veins. Okay. So usually, uh, when we see the leaf, uh, with this kind of shape, uh, it will actually be a dicotyledon. All right, this kind of shape because it will be a network-like veins. But if we see, uh, the leaves are very long, uh, like this one, uh, uh, bamboo la, sugar cane la, coconut la, banana la. It will be a monocotyledonous. So this is monocotyledonous. And then when I was replanting this plant, because actually I had two pots. I, I, I had one pot, but now I have actually two pots. Yeah, I actually replanted. So when I replanted, uh, I actually go and observe yeah, that the roots inside is what we call as the fibrous roots. Yes, so it matches uh, exactly what we discussed okay, regarding the plants. Yeah, so that is the discussion. Uh, huh? Yeah, regarding a mono and a dicotyledon plant, of course. Now, uh, from form one, we have more to discuss. Uh, go back to the story of the cotyledon, student. Okay, you will see that this plant, the cotyledon, they are very special. Yeah, they are hanging in the middle of the plant. They are hanging above the soil. If you take a look at this one, you cannot find any cotyledon. Is it that this plant got no cotyledon? wrong there is cotyledon but the cotyledon is actually hidden underneath the soil so this brings us to the topic of what the two different types of germination all right the two different types of germination is depending on what the position of the cotyledon if the cotyledon is above the soil we call this as a epigeal germination epi geal this one form one look at my notes is there epigeal germination where the cotyledon it is above the soil you can see right and over here we call this as a hypogeal germination h y p o g e a l reason because the seed or oh, the cotyledon is hidden underneath the soil so one is above and one is underneath 
Uh, then of course, uh, recall our discussion about cotyledon earlier lah, uh, how it is a food storage, a food reserve uh, containing the starch uh, for the plant during the germination stage. So now they are still very much using it lah. Uh, I want to show you actually, but if I dig it out, it's scared. Scared the thing will die, you know. So better don't don't dig up, lah. Huh? Ah, so every day must water, and um, uh, on the packet, eh, it says because the seeds are bought. I bought the seeds. Yeah, the packet says that it will take approximately forty five days, forty five days for it to grow. So it has already been growing for about a week, a week or so. So maybe we need to wait until another three more weeks, lah. Three more, three more, three to four more weeks, lah. Then we can see, uh, probably a, a small, uh, you know, uh, the, the the beans uh, that will appear. Okay, the beans that will appear. Now, of course, we can discuss a lot of other things. Uh, from three students, we can discuss, yeah, about our uh, plants, uh, uh, stimuli and response. We can discuss about the uh, uh, our tropisms, uh, our nestic movements. Okay, like how you see now sun towards this side you can see the leaves they are all arranged so that they can receive maximum sunlight our phototropism okay our phototropism okay same goes to this you can see that's the reason why the leaves they are not arranged like this you see it's arranged like this because they want the sunlight to show so this is what we call our positive phototropism and of course underneath we cannot show lah, but you know what is happening there we have got geotropism we have got hydrotropism Okay, uh, but there's no thick more tropism here because I, I'm not planting morning glory, grapes, cucumber, not that sort of thing. Okay, uh, also there is no nesting movement. Lah. Oh, that one is regarding the specific plants, uh, pitcher plant, uh, Venus flytrap, um, sunflower, um, things like that, mosa pudica. Uh, so uh, here does not show nesting movement, lah. but the phototropism, hydrotropism, yes. Lah. Uh, student okay so i guess uh, that will be all for our video today i hope you have enjoyed my short tour of our garden and also have uh, learned something uh, I, I i will make sure to uh, give you all an update when the plant grows okay in uh, probably a few more weeks and uh, let you see the updates okay how it actually looks like uh, once the beans actually grow okay students so take care i will see you all in class bye bye